guys, Ace Ginger here, and welcome to How to Build This Here Medieval Ship, Part 2. Now, if you want to see the first part, which you probably will if you haven't, that will be in an annotation and, of course, in the description. You'll probably need to watch that if you want to build this ship. And then also be sure to leave a like. It really helps me know if you guys like my designs. And, of course, subscribe for more medieval stuff. So, without further ado, let's begin. Alright guys, so first things first, um, you see these half slabs here, these two shouldn't be there for you because I forgot to put them in part one. Just go ahead and add those in, that's the only thing I forgot somehow, but uh, just go ahead and add those in like that. And yeah, then we're done with that. And also guys, just take a minute to make sure that you're on par with part one so that you, um, it'll make it a lot easier for you um, in this video to do stuff. But uh, yeah, so now what we're going to do is we're going to build these poles and we're going to uh, build the little things that are holding up the sails. So what we're going to do is, this one is already four and a half um, long, so we're going to go 12 up from that, so one, and then all the way up to 12, count to 12, and then I marked it for myself because I've miscounted this several times now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now this one should only have one here, but we're going to go up 27, so one, and then we're going to go two, and then go all the way up, so all the way up to 27. It's very high, yep. Okay. Um, yeah, so now what we're going to do is take dark oak wood, and if you don't like dark oak wood, then use spruce wood, that's fine. But um, go ahead, and now we're just going to make these shapes here. And to do that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to just go ahead and put these two in front, three down from the top, and then do the same thing off to the side to the um, right. I guess you could do it inverse if you wanted to, but I'm going to do it to the right. And now we're going to go ahead and go like this down but same even level and then on this, this side we're going to do the same thing and that's going to be the general pattern for this sail so we're just going to continue that for a little ways and then we're just going to keep doing this until we get to the point where it's five so there's one two three we need it to be five so just continue the pattern for a while on this side and we now have hit five so it should look like this on the left side and now over here we're going to make it five as well. Now it's going to be a little bit different on this side, just a little bit, because this side is naturally out longer, so it's going to end on a diagonal block rather than on a down block. So anyways, yeah, that's the sail frame for this back sail. And now we're going to have to do, we're going to mark the places here. So at this time we're going to go two down from the top for this uh, bigger sail. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did last time, the exact same way. So um, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Okay, so again, if you guys didn't get it the first time I said it, it's just make sure that it's five long out there and five long out there, and it's in this pattern where it goes um, two and then up one, and then it goes down and and does the same thing. So just make sure that you copy this exactly and you will not have any problems. So anyways, now what we're going to do is we're going to go up 14 from the bottom. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Hopefully I didn't miscount that. But anyways, we're going to make the same shape and this one's going to be the exact same as that one, only it's going to be a bit longer because this is going to be the main sail. So it's going to be the exact same thing only instead of five out like last time it's going to be a grand whoops yeah it's going to be a grand total of seven tall or sorry not tall it's going to be a grand total of seven wide so uh, let's see there's six and now we're going to go out one more because this is the biggest sale so anyways we're going to do that on this side of course as well so there's one there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, there's six, and here is lucky seven. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to quick come back and we will keep going. Okay guys, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to build a little crow's nest here on the back, and we're also going to put the flags on the ship. So anyways, um, to do that, um, for the crow's nest, now this back side is going to have a ladder going up it. So we're going to go ahead and just place sideways logs off of here, and the ladder will go on this side. 
and then we're just going to put little buttons on because I like that yeah, it's nice and then underneath those we're just going to put little oak fence posts pretty nice and now um, next to these I like to put netherrack now it's up to you you guys can always just use regular fence posts if you don't like netherrack for some reason but I think it's just kind of nice and it adds a bit of an accent I guess so again that's always up to you and now I'm going to go ahead and just put fence posts in between everything so that you can't throw yourself to your death in the middle of a storm that's never a good thing and now we're going to go ahead and put fence posts on here as well and now we're going to take dark oak wood and we're going to put it here on top like that and now we're going to drop down and we're going to grab some spruce wood slabs and I about drowned that was scary but uh, <laughs> anyways uh, do this like this so half slab under half slab over so it looks like an actual block, but it's not. And then on the inside, just go ahead and do that. And that way, it has this nice little indent. You don't have to have that, but I think it looks nice. And on t ah, on top, go ahead and place a cobblestone wall. And then go ahead and place three fence posts. And now this will be the start of the flag. Now the two flags that I'm going to show you guys in this video, I've actually taught you guys before on a how to build medieval flags video. You can check that out. It's on my channel page. But um, if you want other designs, then you can go ahead and substitute in your own or use some of the other ones that I taught in that video if you want. Or you can always change up the colors or do whatever it is you do. You do. But um, yeah. So I'm going to teach you guys two because I kind of like to have two different ones to make more variation. So on this back one here, once you've got this fence post type thing, three fences and then a cobblestone wall and then a stone brick slab on top. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to go like this. We're going to go two with these, then diagonal going on the red. And then we're going to go down and then over one with dark gray. And now what we're going to be doing next is we're going to go um, like that, make that shape. And then we're going to go out with dark gray. And now we're going to go up, I believe, yes, like that. And then we're going to do this. And then that's the first flag. Now that one's the smaller of the two. It's pretty nice. Now this one I did not put a crow's nest on because it's already pretty freaking tall. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to make the same starting base design. So the three fence posts and then the cobblestone wall and then of course the stone brick slab. Never forget the stone brick slab. It's always fun. Um, but anyways, go ahead and do start off the same way. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go like this. And then we're going to go three off of it. So the only place you can see the red is from the back or from this side right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place one on this in-between side here. Then go ahead and go out like that. And then like this. And then like this. And then we're going to go diagonal to go like that with red. And then we're just going to go down like this. So it should look like this. And if you've done it right. And I kind of like that. That way it looks like the the direction of the wind is taken into account because in my city the wind happens to be going northwest and the ship happens to be traveling that way which means that hopefully the ship is going faster than the wind so all of these th should be facing the wrong direction but the other ones are all facing that way anyway it's just interesting fact um, but yeah so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually get out some white wool and I originally was gonna save this for another clip but we're just gonna go ahead and do this all the way over just like that that's kind of the approximate start of the sails which is what we're going to move towards next and you can do that on all three of these just put these in front um, you know I could have done this later but it's nice to do it now because that way it's nicer to explain from these points but yeah so anyways I will come back Okay guys, so what we're going to do next is we're just going to go ahead and start off here by building this bottom sail. And to do that, like I said earlier, we've got to have all of this line started so that it's easier for me to teach. But anyways, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go diagonal like that. And then we're going to make three like that. And now I'm going to just build this in because I kind of like this cross design. Now if you want to, you can always change the color scheme. You can change the red in my ship to blue or something if you like big blue stuff. But, um, you know, that's all right. And uh, But I'm going to teach it as red because that's my city's theme. But anyways, though, so, yeah. Um, so I'm going to use red in this. And then go ahead and just build one white underneath. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go one out like that. And then we're going to go two out right there. And then up here, we're going to go one, two with red. And now with the white, we're just going to go all the way up to the top. Now, from back here, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to go to right here. 
we're going to place one like that and we're going to go all the way down to right here but not further and we're going to go build two down from that red one and now we're going to go like this oh actually we can leave that there but <laughs> my bad um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to fill this in and then we're going to go all the way down like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to put one there right there and then one two there like that and then we're just going to go ahead and build this all the way up. No, nope, we're not going to do that. We're going to leave it like this, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to go ahead and start off here by building these down here ways. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to have to take a red wool, if I can get there, and place it like that. And hello, rain. All right. Sorry. Um, and now we're going to place red wool here like this. Should have a design that looks like this so far. And now we're going to go down to, and then we're going to go all the way down, even with that. And then we're going to build that all the way up to right about right here. And then right here, we're going to go one, two, three, like that. And then right here, we're going to start the upper cross, I believe. Yes. So right here, we're going to actually have to change this one into red, which is fine. I'll just do that. And then we're just going to go ahead and build one, two, like this. And then we're going to go right down here with red, like that. And then one below with white, like that. And then what we're going to do from that point onward is we're just going to go ahead and build two back here. And then from there onward, we're going to go ahead and go up three, like this, so. And then we're going to go ahead and start using red and go and build this all the way up to right there. Just like that. Now we're going to take white wool and we're just going to fill that gap in right there. Anyways, so next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build one off with red like that. And then we're going to go ahead and build two up with white. And now back here we're just going to put those back a little bit. And now right here we're also going to build some red just like this. And now back here, we're going to go back one at the very bottom. And now also with that said, we're going to do this back here. So it should look like that. Pretty nice. And um, then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and put that one there. And then we're going to go ahead and put that there. Build that all the way up to the top, just like so. And then we're going to go ahead and put these here. Put these all the way back to here. And voila. Anyways, and now continuing onward here, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be putting a red right here, and then we're going to place two white up on top of it, and then what we're going to do from that point onward is we're just going to fill in these back ones, and then we're going to go ahead and take these and keep going down with them all the way until you get to right here, and then place a red one instead, which is pretty nice, and then go ahead and just start filling these in with white. Um, keep doing that all the way until we get to the point oh delete that one I'm sorry about that guys and then also what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to have these are actually going to be white as well I apologize for how bland I'm probably sounding right now but it's really com complicated to do this off of a picture <laughs> anyways though um, from now what we're going to do is we're just going to go back here and place these and then what we're going to be doing next, after that, um, after that, we're going to do this right here. We're going to build this, oops, all the way up to here, just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and take a white wool. We're going to build this all the way down to here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take more white wool and build it all the way down to, uh, let's see, right here, like this we want to do that and then we're going to place white underneath we're just going to keep going with that white all the way down to there and then we're going to go one in and so yeah so we should have something that looks like this so far and now what we're going to be doing is we're going to start from the top here and make one out like that we're going to go all the way down to right here and then we're going to place a white one and then a red one and then two white ones and then we're going to go back in again so should end up with this and then we're going to go out one like this and we're going to build that all the way up to the top and then we're going to replace 
this one here with red. So there you go. We've got the first sail of the ship. Good job, guys. I know that was a little confusing. That's really hard to teach, I'm going to be honest. So I hope you guys were able to understand that. And um, just follow really closely or look off of this picture. If you need to pause it, you can go ahead and get anything you missed. I'm sorry, but um, it's difficult. So, yeah, we'll keep going then. Okay, guys, so now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to build the last two sails. So to do that, we're going to start off with the one directly above the big one that we just built. So for this one, it's going to be quite a bit smaller than this one, and it'll be the smallest of the three. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by placing a white wool under there, and then two red wools here, and then a white wool, and then a red wool under there, diagonal from the others, and then a white corner like that. And that's pretty good. And then you put that there, and you build that one further out. And then we're going to go up one, and then with red, we're going to go up one as well. And then it's up one again with white. And now, right here, we're going to go out like that, too. And now we're going to take red and go two. And now we're going to take white and go two. And then just one with white there. All right. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and build this three like that. And then take a red one here. And then go two white ones. And then we're going to go ahead and put this here. I believe that is correct. Um... Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, it's good. And then put these here. Sorry about that. I'm looking off a picture, but it's okay. Um, go ahead and place one down from there now. And we're going to place a red one here now. And now we're going to go ahead and place two white ones. And then we're going to place another white one, but behind a little further. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and go like this. And then we're going to go ahead and place a red one here. We're going to go two down with white. I believe that we go one further again. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a similar shape as last time right there. And then go ahead and do two reds like that. And then what we're going to be doing from here is we're going to place two like that. And then two like this. And we're going to go ahead and go like that. Now that we have that taken care of, what we're going to be doing Go ahead and place a red right there. Go ahead and place a white underneath it. And go ahead and place one back here and then there. And then, oops, sorry, that's a red one right there. And then go ahead and continue that to there. Place one behind like that. And that should look like that. So anyways, yeah, that is the top sail. I really like the top sail design personally. Um, but yeah. Anyways, so now this sail of the back one, this will be the medium sized sail of the ship. So what we're going to do for this one is we're just going to go ahead and start by placing two down. I'm going to go one down, and we're going to go one over, make this corner shape, and go two like that, and then make this corner shape here. And then we're going to go back one with red like that, and then two down like that. And then we're going to go ahead and go like this, and then we're going to go ahead and take that up to here. And we're going to go ahead and place red on top, and then we're going to go ahead and place white on top of that red. And then we're going to go ahead and place a white block there, white block back there. And then, oh, hold on a second. I forgot we got to do this top part here. So uh, that's important. And I believe, I believe, yeah. Oh, wait, never mind. That's right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Apologize for that. Ignore that. Uh, <laughs> just checking myself. Um, anyways, though, now we're going to place a red here. And then we're going to place two whites there. And then we're going to go ahead and place two whites here in this gap so it's further back inside of it and then we're going to go ahead and place three like that then we're going to go up that many four and then we're going to go ahead and just place a white on top of there so anyways now what we're going to do is we're going to go like that with that one and then we're going to go ahead and go two and then three and then white and then red two and then we're going to leave that and now we're going to take white and go inset again and just go ahead and build that to be four up and then go two out at the top part of that. And then we're going to go ahead and place red on top of there. Then on top of this, we're going to go ahead, we're just going to build this all the way up to there. And then we're going to go ahead and place this to here. And then I do believe that we're going to place two red here like that. Then white on top like that. And then build this one all the way up like that. Build this back to here. And then below the red, we're just going to place two. And then we're going to go ahead and go down three and then curve it in. And now for the last little piece of it, we're going to go here. And then we're going to build down all the way until we reach this point. And then we're going to go 
put that here like that and I believe we go down one more like that perfect alright so there you go guys we've got the sales done good job I'm again sorry if that was confusing but the sales were definitely the most confusing part of the ship so if you were able to do that then you should be golden from here on out anyways I'll come back we'll do the interiors the decor and then we'll be done alright guys so next thing we're gonna be doing is placing the cannons and then we'll do the interiors and then we'll be fully done with the ship so we're almost there guys uh, but first thing I want you to do in the first part of the tutorial I actually told you guys to build this ladder structure thing right here um, that was my mistake it really needs to be right here and the reason for that is because of the cannon placement so we'll just move that over one towards the back and it'll look a lot nicer um, but anyways so we're gonna place a cannon here here and here and see it's centered now that you've moved it one to the left so that's important and then uh, just go ahead and do the same thing on all sides as well and then also whoops that's the wrong spot right there. and now on the back of them you can go ahead and place levers because you want them to be able to fire I know some people like buttons but I prefer levers myself so we'll use levers um, but anyways behind there also go ahead and place a staircase as well because I kind of like the staircases personally um, yeah go ahead and go with that and that's also a nice detail as well and now up here you may have noticed that this has just kind of been missing this for quite a while but um, you know I think it, this is where a cannon would go on the back so that way you can fire as you flee or whatever um, but go ahead and place the levers there as well and then also place this ladder on the back I did that off camera because it would be pretty much pointless for you to watch and also place a glass pane in here I don't think I ever properly told you guys to put that there so I'm just mentioning that um, but again, you can use whatever color of glass you feel like. And yeah, so now that we've gotten all that out of the way, we're just going to go ahead and make the interior of the, um, well, the below deck. So um, usually I just start off with a ladder here. And I never, I haven't actually designed an interior for this necessarily for right now. So I'm just going to kind of make this up as I go, show you what I would do. And you guys can do exactly what I do if you want, or you can just kind of do your own thing since I don't know much about interiors, but um, I usually would start off by doing this with the glass. And the reason that I didn't do something like this is just uh, this and all the way around is just because that way from the top you can actually see in here a little better. And uh, that's why I don't think it looks bad on the inside either, so it's fine for me. But you can always change that if you like. And uh, what I usually would probably start out doing next is I would actually change this one here to be a staircase so that it's a little less um, protruding, I guess would be the right word. And then under here, probably place some half slabs to even out the level of walking and stuff. And then I'd probably just place all of this in here just so I could put a torch right there. I'd probably convert these into staircases as well. And then from here on out, after that, it's pretty much all interior work. So I guess I'd probably just put some beds and chest places, honestly. I mean, I don't know. I'll put some, <laughs> I'll just put some like right here or something. I guess that way they're not right next to the torch. Put a chest right here or something, maybe chest like that maybe or something and then something like this perhaps I guess and, I mean you can really do whatever you want honestly I mean it's pretty much up to you whatever you think you are if you think it looks realistic or not you can do whatever you want but yeah so that's just what I'm gonna go with here um, again you can do whatever you want with that and now for the cabin's deck or the captain's um, the captain's cabin as it were um, usually what I like to do is just place a staircase like that stair 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 and then up here to cover up that crap I'm just gonna place half slabs so um, I am not going to teach you exactly how to do the interior of this because it's really up to you and I think it's really fun to design the uh, captain's cabin interiors just cuz but um if you want I will go I will go and show you what I did do if you do want an exact design to copy if you're one of those kind of people that just like to copy exactly what I've got then this you can take you can pause the video and just copy exactly as I've got it uh, this is just kind of the interior that I went with. I kind of liked it, but I just had fun making it, so I thought you guys might as well. But, uh, yeah, so that is the whole interior, and uh, that's the whole ship. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys were able to understand what I was talking about fairly well. I know the sales got pretty complicated there, but um, I hope you guys were able to follow it. Um, be sure to subscribe for more medieval stuff, and like if you like the design and stuff. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.